Last month, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed the District Court of Guam's ruling in a class action lawsuit over the payment of tax refunds. However, the government of Guam has filed a petition with the Ninth Circuit asking for an en banc hearing, but it's not necessarily over the payment of tax refunds. Obviously, the governor you know, and the administration, we felt that the, the, the tax refund case in and of itself was moot because it, um, you know, we, were, we already were paying tax refunds. But the specific issue that's being requested, that we're requesting for review, um, is the payment of the attorney's fees. The petition was filed earlier this month by Calvo Fisher and Jacob on behalf of Gov Guam. The governor's director of communications, Oya Niradikle, says an en banc hearing means going before a full panel review, and in this case, over the class action lawsuit filed in 2011 by Rhea and Jeffrey Payeste and Sharon and Glenn Zapanta. The case relates to the payment of tax refunds within six months of the tax deadline. The Ninth Circuit also affirmed District Court Judge Consuela Marshall's order for the government of Guam to pay attorney fees, estimated at over $2 million. In previous cases where the Ninth Circuit uh, dealing with Guam, um, we were treated as an um, instrumentality of the United States. Um, in this case, the PST case, we're being treated as a state. And we feel like those are two conflicting um, statuses and it does need to be reconciled uh, because it has larger ramifications outside of just this one tax refund case. As part of the petition, the attorneys request the court grant the en banc hearing to quote, secure and maintain uniformity of the court's decisions and because the proceeding involves questions of exceptional importance, end quote. If we're being, you know, being treated as a state. Uh, because we get other, there, there are a lot of other e issues like grants that we receive um, where perhaps, you know, the, the, either the, the requirements of those grants would, be, would differ or the amounts of the grants would differ because we are a state and not a territory or an instrumentality of uh, the, the federal government in Congress. This decision could also change the way Guam deals with other issues like earned income tax credits and the Affordable Care Act. In the meantime, as they wait for a response from the Ninth Circuit, the order to pay attorney fees, she says, will be stayed. As for the payment of tax refunds... We continue to, to march on the governor's orders, which is to ensure that tax refunds um, are paid out and paid out in a timely manner. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.